Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a different kind of video. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm sorry. But I decided to do kind of like a chit chat get ready with me kind of video. But I'm gonna change up the name. We're gonna call it my chatty get readies. So I never, I never do videos like this. If I'm doing a get ready with me, it's like fast forward and I'm not talking or I'm just doing a tutorial. I never like, I do talk through tutorials sometimes, but I don't sit here and just talk to you guys while I put on my makeup. I never do that. So I thought maybe if I get some good feedback on this video, then I'll, then I'll keep doing them. Then I'll keep doing them. I'm gonna call them like a chatty get ready. So it's not like chit chat get ready with me. You know, I feel like that's a long name. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Whatever, Let, we're just gonna go with it. So I have no makeup on. Clearly, I just have my eyebrows filled in. That takes me forever, so I always do that off camera. But I recently got this box in the mail from Charlotte Tilbury. Why do I feel the need to talk like this when I talk about Charlotte Tilbury? I don't know. I have absolutely terrible self-tan hands. My self-tan hands are so bad. I'm usually so good about my hands. Like, they usually come out pretty good. I messed up my hands. Anywho. Um, I recently got this in the mail from Charlotte Tilbury. They sent me a few of their products in their Golden Goddess collection. Honestly, I almost cried when I got this in the mail. Like, I'm not even joking. I almost cried. Um, oh! I unwrapped everything, but it came with like a little card and it was so sweet. And it was just a few of their products. I almost cried because, let me pick this up because that's giving me anxiety. I like almost cried because I don't have like very luxurious makeup um, and not like very, very luxurious companies even know who the heck I am. So I thought it was so crazy that they sent things to little old me, just a little old me, you know? I thought it was so sweet. I posted a picture on Instagram and a lot of you guys were like, please do a video on them and give us your thoughts. So that's what I'm doing today. I have only used literally like a couple of these products. The rest will be a first impression. So I'm gonna use every single one of these things on me face. So let's get started. Oh my god, look at the, can you tell? This video is gonna be so long because this is why I don't do videos like this because I'm like, oh, look at this and I, I space out. So the first product I'm gonna use is the Wonder Glow. I've heard really good things about this. I actually have never tried it, but this is the Wonder Glow and it's like a primer. It's not like a primer primer, but you put it on before your foundation. It's supposed to give you that beautiful glow. It's like a highlight. You could also put it like on top of your foundation as well. So let's, I'm just gonna put it on my whole face because I can never be too glowy. Oh, it's nice. It feels like a moisturizer. If you can hear Danny throughout this video, I apologize. So this stuff is no joke. You can't tell on camera, but like, it's a little shimmery. It's like shimmer. It's kind of like a glitter. I did a good job hydrating my face. Whoa, what happened? I will definitely keep you guys updated. It hydrated my face really well though and I have dry skin, so that I do like. Okay, so I'm just gonna put on some foundation. I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is W3. Just gonna put a light layer of this. I don't want like super full on face, like a cake, not cake, cause this isn't cakey, it's actually pretty luminous. But I don't want like a full on face. I don't know, it's probably gonna get there, or, but whatever. So I heard that Makeup Geek changed their foundation stippling brush and they made it smaller. Why would they do that? Okay, so my foundation's on and now I'm just gonna put on some concealer. I'm gonna use my Cover FX Cream Concealer. Cream Concealer, yeah. I have been really liking this, especially for under my eyes. It does crease, but if I set it, it doesn't. This is like really, really like good coverage. Like it covers like a mofo. So I've been using this on days where like my circles are pretty bad. You just have to be careful how much you put. Like definitely less is more with this guy. Holy crap, the sun just got so bright. I'm, I can't see. I'm also gonna take some on my eyelids just to cover up them veins. 
Okay, so to set that, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me powder in 135. And I'm just using an, ooh. <laughs> this is an e.l.f. blush brush. And I'm using to set that. And then I'm gonna set my eyelids as well. I have to set that concealer fast because it creases fast, but the coverage is just so good. Okay, so now to my favorite part. I actually have used this like once and it is so freaking good. This is the Charlotte Tilbury film. Okay, this is all Charlotte Tilbury, so maybe I don't have to say that for every product. This is the Film Star Bronze and Glow and I've actually been wanting this for a while for like a while but this is like one of those luxurious gifts that you give like for Christmas and stuff like that it was actually on my Christmas wish list like for Danny to buy me <laughs> and it is a bronzer and a highlighter a sculpt and a highlight oh I love it so I'm gonna contour with this um, I'm using my Zoeva Luxe face paint my Zoeva 109 brush Seems a little bit intense, but it blends out really well. See how well it starts to blend? I don't know if you could tell. Ooh. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Kathleen. Jeez. It's like this. Sculpt has like the perfect undertone. It is so nice and it can get really really intense Or it can get really soft. I loves it. I loves it. I loves it I swear it's like it's like perfect and then I'm gonna take um, just like my uh, so, 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 Real techniques and I'm just gonna bronze up a little bit more I'll use the highlight in a second. I'm gonna put on some blush first. My eyebrows are terrible in this video. Video, in this video. Okay, so the blush I'm using is the Cheek to Chic. Uh, Swish and Pop Blusher in Ecstasy. I love how in the UK, this is blusher. I love that. I'm gonna put on some blusher, some blusher. Blusher. And this is Ecstasy, I already said that. It's a really pretty warm, it has like a circle in the middle and then like another ring around it. And this one is a little bit more pink and the ring around it is a little bit more like warm. I'm just gonna swirl it all together. Pop off the rest. And apply it. Now that I look at it, that Wonder Glow really did make my foundation look like even glowier. Can you tell? I have no highlight on. My foundation looks pretty glowy. Well, I mean, it is the True Match Lumi. So, that's glowy. This blush is beautiful. It's like a really pretty warm pink. It's not like a peachy and it's not shimmery. It has like a nice natural finish. It's not powdery, it's not like matte. Oh. And I love the packaging. It's very vintage. It reminds me of something like my great grandmother used or something. It's very vintage and beautiful. Obsess I'm obsessed with this packaging. I am. Okay, now I'm gonna put on some highlights. This is the Sculpt and Glow. I mean, Bronze and Glow. Same thing I used before. And I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. brush again and dab it into the highlight. Tap it off and apply. Ah, life. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love highlight. I go overboard. Clearly this is too much, but yet I keep putting it on. Oh my gosh. Is that you, Jennifer Lopez? Oh no, that's just Kathleen. Wow. Okay, so I am gonna put on some eyeshadows. This, they sent me one little quad. It's called the Golden Goddess Luxury Palette in, oh, it's just called the Golden Goddess. It has really pretty, um, let me zoom you in. It has really pretty earth tones in this. So I will be using this. I'm gonna use my Makeup Geek uh, 
small crease brush. I actually use this more of a pencil as a pencil brush. And I'm going to dip it into this shimmery champagne gold color. And I'm going to use this as my highlight. My kind of color. I'm going to take my Morphe M441 and I'm going to dip it into this color right here. This one. I'm just going to dust that in my crease. Um, I'm also going to take that same color on a different brush for some strange reason. This is an e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm just going to pack that on the outer part right like that and then just drag it in. I'm also going to take that same pencil brush and run that underneath. I'm going to take this color right here. Don't really know how to explain this. It's like a silver, but in like a warm kind of way. It's a very natural color. Just going to put that. Then I'm going to use uh, the glittery one on top. This color is like pure glitter. I don't know if you can tell. Can you see that? Like how glittery it made my eyes? That's really cool. I definitely recommend using Fix Plus with this eyeshadow because I kind of have trouble with it. I'm like trying to build the glitter on my lid. And I really have to build it. But my Fix Plus is all the way on the other side of the room, so... Don't feel like getting it, but this glitter is really cool, and actually it doesn't have fallout for it being glitter. Yeah, so I'm just going to go back in with the brown and uh, apply some more. This quad isn't my favorite. I've never tried any of the other Charlotte Tilbury quads, so those may be better. I like the colors in it, but... Um, I wasn't like blown away with the eyeshadows. This one's beautiful and this one is beautiful. These two, I think they're okay. The glitter is actually really cool, but um, it's not like, whoa, you need to buy this right now. I don't feel that way. I feel that way about this. Not so much this. Okay, so I'm just going to put on some eyeliner. This is the classic eye powder pencil. In, as a nerd, does this not have a color? Or it's just called the classic eye powder pencil. And she only has one. I don't know. I'm going to line my waterline. Give it more of a bronzy look. Ooh. That made that smoky real quick. This, um, this pencil is a little rough because it is a wooden. You guys know how I feel about my wooden eyeliners. But it is very pigmented. So if you're into wooden eyeliners, this one's pigmented. I like that. It made that pretty smoky. Okay, so I'm going to put on some mascara. This is the Full Fast Lashes 5 Star Mascara. Oh, let me curl my lashes. Can you tell? Can you tell? These are the best eyelash curlers in the world. In the world. And I've tried many. They were expensive. All right, this was expensive, but it's worth it. It's the Shuomura eyelash curler. Worth every penny I paid for them. So it is a natural bristle wand, which are my faves. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna love this? I'm gonna love this, I have a feeling. So this is definitely a lengthening mascara. I really love volumizing mascaras. They're my favorite over lengthening ones. But I'm going to build this up. I'm going to do two coats, and then we'll see. Okay, so this is two coats. What do you guys think? I think it does a super good job at lengthening. And there's no... I did two coats. There's no clumping. So if you're into somebody who likes length, no clumps. I actually like this eye. I'm liking this quad more and more the more I look at it. I actually just realized that I haven't even been talking to you guys. This is supposed to be like a chit chat get ready. And I'm not even chatting. I'm just getting ready. I'm not even showing. I'm not even talking. I don't do these often. So this one. Okay. This first one is boring. But maybe the rest of them will be better. 
So anyway, I'm gonna use my Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. I'm saying it Pillow Talk because I've heard Amelia Liana talk about this a bunch of times. I think this is like her favorite lip liner in the world. And she says Pillow Talk because she's from the UK. So, ooh, I love the noise. I'm just gonna line my lips. That is such a pretty color. I love it. I love it. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna use this lipstick called Stoned Rose. Stoned Rose. Look at this pretty packaging. I can't. I can't deal. I can't deal. That it. That's pretty. That's pretty. Oh my god. Do you guys want to hear the funniest story ever? Does this make my teeth look yellow? The other day I'm sitting in the living room with Danny. We're sitting there and we're having lunch. <laughs> and Manny texts me. You know Manny. You guys know Manny. I love Manny. And he texts me and I have him under Manny MUA because that's his YouTube name. So whatever. So my phone is like next to his computer and he's like eating and the phone, my phone is right next to his. So I get a text message and I'm like, who texts me? Check my phone. He looks at it and he's like, um, who the hell is Manny Moi? <laughs> I lost it. I lost it. He thought that I had a guy under Manny Moi. Oh my god. So I was cracking up so hard that I couldn't answer him. And he was staring at me like, oh my god, it was the funniest thing. I was like, that's Manny, my YouTube friend. He's like, oh, okay. I was like, why would I have somebody under moi, under, next to their name? Oh my god, I could not stop laughing. Anyway, he was looked at me dead in the face like, ooh, is that FedEx for me? Is that FedEx for me? He really thought that, uh, yeah, it was hilarious. So this next thing, this is the last thing I have. This is the Charlotte Til yes, Charlotte Tilbury um, lip gloss in Ibiza Nights. And I don't typically like lip gloss, and I would usually just leave it like this. I never do like lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss. Well, I do it sometimes, but not all the time, so. Let's just, ooh, that's shiny. It's not sticky. At least I can't tell on top of this lipstick. And if I can't tell, probably means it's not sticky. So that just adds a gloss to it. I definitely prefer it without this. So this is the finished look using all of the Charlotte Tilbury products that were sent to me. Okay, so let's do a little rundown. If I had to recommend definitely three things, it is number one, it is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Film Star Bronze and Glow. Highly recommend this. It's gorgeous. The packaging, everything. Probably the most beautiful freaking highlight I have. Look at that! The most beautiful highlight I probably have ever seen. Probably have ever seen. And this bronzer has such a beautiful undertone that you can contour with it and bronze your face. This is amazing stuff. 